Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I am going to be reacting to Floor Jensen and Hank Port singing Phantom of the Opera on the TV show Best Singers. If I mispronounce that, I am so sorry. Anyway, let's dive in. Okay, so that was uh, one of the points in the initial video that I really, really wanted to point out was how easily she moves between this length and a dominant sound, so more of a classical setup into something that's super contemporary. She really slides into that contemporary sound. Let's go back and re-listen to it. Okay, so another point. He has played the Phantom. I did, I do know that Hank has played the Phantom before and you can really, really tell. His musical theatre setup is spectacular. It's so stable. The vowels are so rich and warm and not necessarily wide, but there's a depth and clarity to them that just really drive home this Phantom character. Even how he did that last little section of Inside Your Mind, it's like, oh, yes, yes, you are. You're inside her mind, all right. Her storytelling elements, guys. So from that really, really soft, aspirated beginning all the way to that back where she really emphasized the speechiness of it. Oh, my Lord. amazing she's amazing there's transitions okay so what's actually happening when she's in that length and a dominant sound going the phantom of the opera is there she's changing from more of a legit musical theater quality with that so from that kind of sound into the is there which is very m1 contemporary so she's actually having to change registration and balance the weight because it's all connected she's connecting it from one register into the next and the kind of consistency of your breath support and your muscular support is just she's flawless i'll see myself out so just oh gosh, stunning management of registration and then she flips straight back up into it to finish it let's just oh Like the dominant classical, contemporary. 
straight back up into that legit musical doodle. I knew it was coming, but every time, oh, I knew it was coming. I, cause I watched, I've already watched this. Okay. I filmed and then all my auto disappeared. I've already watched this and I knew it was coming and it's still, it's still exciting. It's the grittiest phantom I've ever heard. But I also wanted to note just quickly the hits in the music. I know that it belongs to the phantom score, but it also gave me Nightwish vibes. This is what you have done to me, Nightwish fans. Those hits sound similar to what's in uh, one of the Nightwish songs that I've reacted to. Anyways, I'm going back because, gosh, isn't this just the grittiest phantom you've ever heard? Before the actual angel of music, which is Floor Jansen sings, their connection, this stage chemistry that they have is just, it's so exciting. And I just want to comment on that because an important part of a duet is how the two characters are connecting and they're connecting really, really well. I mean, Floor's Christine is kind of like, to me, she's, she acts a little bit more powerful and fierce than what stage Christine might be, but the dynamic is definitely there and you come off the back of Hank trying out those like rock, rocky grit sounds. You can see that they're having fun and they're having fun singing this together. Anyways, back to the angel of music. first time with it and I'm happily I'm happy to die again listening to that oh she's just beautiful she's just stunning and her ability to change registers there were a couple of little onsets there where you could hear the vocal folds were like okay <laughs> and maybe they weren't quite as on it as they normally are but gosh they were quick you wouldn't even notice them you wouldn't even notice them anyway that final note you got to hit it and then you got to sustain it. So it's not just actually getting to the note. It's also you need to be able to maintain a good vocal quality up there for that final long sustain. And it's just, I mean, note wise, I'm fairly certain that I can screech my way up there. So we'll give it a go. And she's not putting as much vibrato onto it. Hers is clean. How long is she going for? Oh, also, that was a D6. The original, the original score is an E6 for Christine, so I'm thinking they might have lowered the key. It is easier to get some of those rock sounds when you're slightly lower in, in your voice than higher up, because higher up you want to be using more resonance to carry and not have to push. So that might have been the reason for the key change, because, I mean, f Floor's range is ridiculous. So, And Hank, Hank's done like Phantom. He's performed on stage as Phantom, so I don't think the original key is a problem for him either, funnily enough. But that last note, let's see how long it goes. Seven seconds. Let's let's try it with her. Ah! 
honestly, my first instinct is to chuck a buttload of vibrato onto it because original Christine, who my one of my favorite sopranos for singing Christine is Sierra Bogus. She is incredible. If you listen to her version, she hits that E6 bang on and it's vibrato f basically from the onset. So I'll insert a little clip. You can hear how she hits it straight on and there's vibrato whereas the floor is a clean D6. So a tone down, not a big deal, honestly. It's in musical theater, you shift things tone up, tone down, maybe not any more than that because then you start to lose the energy and the point of uh, the piece sometimes if you change it too much. And with floor, we know her range grows for days. She hit that so easily. She's probably, she's probably got stacks of space on top of that. My point is, it's not just about hitting the note. It's about hitting the note, keeping the quality there and then sustaining it. She's just... She's a master. She is a master of, of all this and her changes. I love the fact that she brought like his contemporary styles into it because if I want to hear a perfectly balanced traditional Christine, I'm just going to go and listen to Sierra Bogus. Floor brings me something new and exciting and I deeply appreciate that. I don't need to hear another Sierra Bogus. I want to hear Floor and Floor when she gives you just her own sound. It's just marvelous. It is beautiful to listen to. Floor as a performer actually inspires me quite a bit. Regardless, this is fantastic. The connection between the two, the vocal choices, I love the changes. Hank having that gritty rock sound as the Phantom, just, oh, yes, yes, that was so cool. Um, and that end note, you just cannot help but feel like, yes, 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 we're going, we're going, we're going, we get to, she got it, yes! Like you cannot help but feel like that momentum building and then she just nails it and you're like, my heart is full. Anyway, this was absolutely splendid. Articulation on point, connection, support, breathing, everything just... Mm. As we know, Flora is a fabulous vocalist, definitely an angel of music. Uh, and Hank, just phenomenal, both of them. Anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, give this video a like, click that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it and we'll be coming to you just like this one. As usual, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy and I will see you next time. Bye.